Uh, we also got Survivor's Guilt, which is a mixtape uh, Kenny Hoopla in collaboration with Travis Barker. Dan, what did you think of this? Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I was a bit worried, and I'm on record on our last episode of saying that um, I really liked Kenny's sort of old, unique, distinct style, and I was a little sort of kind of worried that doing pop punk it might sort of become a bit repetitive and that he might stray away from that too much but no that old style is still there on some of the songs like Survivor's Guilt and Inside of Heaven's Mouth um, him and Travis have absolutely smashed it it's been on repeat constantly and I think it's going to be huge one day yeah I I got the impression listening to it of like instant classic pop punk songs like a lot of my older favourite there's, pop there's punk a lot of like old blink yeah vibe you can there, hear you, know? you can hear that Travis Barker's fingerprints are all over it um, in an interview he said he was trying to capture the feeling of being in love for the first time and I think that is exactly how it feels listening to it um, the choruses are big the hooks are so catchy um, I think Silence is also an answer and Inside of Heaven's Mouth was my two favourites um, yeah this is going to be on repeat for a while for me I think I agree it's just solid pop punk throughout really really well written and each song like also manages to find its own way to stand out a bit um, Travis has got some nice drum section in songs like Inside Heaven's Mouth and Survivor's Guilt and I found a lot that being a shorter album it left me wanting more and I don't know the last maybe the last time I had that feeling I think was Bring Me with um, the release in September I felt like I wanted a, maybe a little bit more from that but this had it as well Like by the time it was over I was like oh that's done I was kind of hoping there was maybe one or two tracks so it was nice to have that feeling it's refreshing compared to like the architects earlier this year where it felt a little bit too long and a bit of fatigue through it it felt fresh and it was nice and left that desire for wanting to hear more of the music yeah it was a perfect length I think I, this is what I want more bands to be doing kind of six to nine songs I, I think especially with people's uh, me especially my attention span I don't I struggle to sit through a whole album now and I think this was the perfect length um, yeah I loved it Especially when you're still like a young developing artist as well, to try when you like Kenny's obviously just tried a style here to see if it works essentially. So to do it in the form of this mixtape works really well. And to stick with the theme of wanting more, I'm really excited to see what he does next. He's obviously done this pop punk mixtape. Some of his previous work has sort of ventured into drum and bass, like emo, rap, all sorts of different genres and skills so I'm looking forward to see what he does next some credit to where it's due to Travis Barker as well because we joke that he's everywhere at the moment and collaborating with every artist under the sun but I think every song he's done yeah. has been really good yeah. but what did you think leave your thoughts in the comments below hit subscribe so you never miss a video and why not check out the latest episode of our podcast thanks for watching